Hello everyone. Today is March 2nd, 2021. My name is Glenn Hall. <clears throat> Got a little cold here going on. I wanted to share um, my testimony. I've been really encouraged by Joe Kirby. I posted uh, a mirror of one of his videos in my last uh, upload to YouTube. He does a lot of 10-minute uh, short sermons, and I'm always encouraged by him. He seems to me to be a man of humble and contrite spirit that trembles at God's word. And that's what we need to be ourselves. We need to tremble at God's word. <clears throat> so let me share my testimony. It was... Uh, about 44 and a half years ago that I dropped out of my senior year of college. I had always been a, uh, a really good student, straight A student in um, high school. And I was a uh, math major in my uh, fourth year of college. I'd been a chemistry major prior to that and then switched to math my junior year. <clears throat> But I dropped out because I was, I'd rather party than study at that time. And I was just turning 21 years old. I worked at a record store in St. Louis area. And uh, <clears throat> one day I was at work, I crossed the street to a, a bookstore. I'd been reading philosophy. I was always a very avid reader. I'd been reading Krishnamurti, uh, Hindu, um, thoughts by him, and, and he speaks a lot of good things. Uh, and I was looking in the philosophy section for another book by him, and I saw there a book that said the New English Bible. Well, I said to myself, I've always heard the truth is in this book. Why don't I read it and find out? So... I bought it, took it back to work. I would read it when I had breaks at work. I took it home and uh, I read it. I practically read it every day for a period of almost six months. And it was right about this time. I think it was in March of uh, 1977, <clears throat> 44 years ago. I was reading the Bible at night I, at, up until that time, I had read through the New Testament two full times. I was in my third time in the New Testament. And um, I was up to the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament. <clears throat> well, let me take you back a little bit before I, I get to this event that happened in March of 1977. As I was reading the the Word. As I was reading the Bible, you know, I did not know it was the Word of God. I just knew it was the Bible. Um, in the Old Testament, you read the law. In the New Testament, you also read about the requirements of those who follow Christ, that they are to live according to the moral law of God. It's very clear, you, you just can't escape that. <clears throat> and so I remember a specific time when um, I was going to work at uh, a place after the, uh, the record store, it was at an insurance company. And <clears throat> there was a young woman who picked me up to go to work. And I remember crying on the way to work. And she looked over at me and goes, why, why are you crying? And I looked at her and I said, because I'm sinning. God was beginning to convict me of sin. And I didn't really go into any details with her. Uh, you know, I, I lived the party life and you all know what that's like. And so, um, <clears throat> Sometime later, it was a 
probably a couple months after that, after I had read through the New Testament twice, I was in my third time, and I was in Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, which is the fifth book. And the first five books are all pretty long books that have a lot of detail in them. One night I was reading the Bible, and I was reading something in the Old Testament, and I suddenly realized, I said, wait a minute, the person writing this is the same person who wrote what I read in the New Testament earlier today. And I knew that the the Testaments were, or the books were written hundreds of years apart. That Moses lived well before Christ and um, that these books had been written hundreds of years apart. It's like when you read the a lot of books by the same author. For example, maybe you've read Hardy Boy books or Nancy Drew or when I was a kid, Doc Savage. You know, you read a lot of books by the same author. When you read another book, you know, oh, that's such and such. You know, that sounds exactly like that author. C.S. Lewis is a good example with respect to, for example, the Chronicles of Narnia. So anyway, this evening in uh, March of 1977, I realized that these books had been written by the same author, but they had been written hundreds of years apart. And then I said to myself, that's impossible unless God wrote the Bible. And when I said those words to myself, the voice of God spoke to me. I don't know if it was audible. I mean, if someone else would have heard it, but it was loud to me. And, and the voice said, that's right, Glenn. And I want you to teach my word. I remember my first thoughts being, then I better do what it says. And so after that event, I began to do what it says. I began to put the word of God into action in my life. And that's what I want each of you who hear this message to think. If you believe that the Bible is the word of God, if you believe that God speaks to his people, and if you believe that you are one of his people, then you better do what it says. So I want to close with this scripture from the book of James, chapter 1. Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he is like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. And I can testify after 44 years of doing the word. I have been blessed. May God bless you.